CAA Championship semifinal here at Hofstra Soccer Stadium. The three seed George Mason taking on the two James Madison. Davis was available inside the box, but the cross from Thomas just off the mark. Another good ball laid ahead. Here is Davis. She's ahead with a step. Pulled down. Davis still gets it off and scores. Amelin Davis for the Patriots. And the three seed has the early lead behind their star forward. one nothing. George Mason. It's one nothing. Patriots right now at the break. And Sparks coming up with a throw. Follow-up comes to her. Becky Sparks chips back in. Opportunity and Bowden Schatz had to make sure that there was no ricochet. Coming with 22 minutes left. Instead, they'll play it short. Now Tysinger puts across. Bart in the air and she's put it in. That time it works actually for Becky Sparks. And the freshman Sparks has tied us at one. Jermaine tries to keep it in the air. Follow up here, right here, and Bowden Schatz had to come up with the save. And that's just the save of the match and maybe the save of the year for George Mason. And We're going to head four, three, to penalty two. kicks. Hawkinson is in. This is Teresa Reinier to get us going, and Reinier makes it 1 0. Here's the first team all CAA performer, Amelin Davis. She's already got a goal in the game on Wazalek, and Davis makes it 1 1. Now it's going to be the junior, Yoli Anderson Golhor from Ottawa, Ontario, and the stop made by Hawkinson. Now it's the senior, Capricia Alston on Wazalek, and she makes it 2 1. This is Wazalek against the freshman Abby Zelinski, center backer. Zelinski denied by Wazalek. And she did come up big. Now the senior defender, Karina Strickland. And Strickland puts JMU back in the lead. Into the seventh round we go. Redshirt junior, Jessica Bart. Only Michigan player on this JMU team. And Bart pushes it past Hawkinson. Again, the Patriots will have to convert for the third time to stay alive. Here's a freshman, Janice Johnson, Greenbelt, Maryland. Johnson, and that one off the crossbar, and it's not in. James Madison survives. And the Dukes advance to the CAA final. Six to five in PKs. Well, I wanted to win it in overtime, but then we didn't get a goal in overtime, so then we're going into PKs, and uh, I mean, I was really confident in our team that we'd be able to pull it off in PKs. You know, I was just happy I scored. Uh, I didn't know it was going to end up being the winning goal, but uh, I was, you know, thinking I was going to go left, but I ended up going right because I saw the goalkeeper take a step to the left, uh, so I was really happy it went in. What are you going to say to your team to prepare them for the championship game on Sunday? Well, I don't think I have to say very much. One way or the other, it's going to be a rematch of one of the teams that beat us this season and we know what our mission is. The only way that we're going to get into the NCAA tournament is with an automatic qualifier, so we'll be ready. Tonight is the CAA semi-final as the top seed Hofstra Pride take on the four-seeded Georgia State Panthers. Green in the air, Yovino still in the air, and finally sent away after some dangerous volleys. Bergstrom Chips back in, and here comes Collins. Contact with Yovino, and a penalty kick. A penalty kick, says our referee, Mike Stutt. Turner, the strike, and Hofstra off to an early 1-0 lead in the third minute. Amy Turner, fourth goal of the season, and Hofstra here in their home turf as the top seed. Now it's going to be really difficult. Pfeiffer will now reverse it for Green, who pops out. They look up top, looking for Tarek on the backside, and Tarek finishes it! 2-0 Hofstra! And against the recent flow of play, that's just a super goal by Salma Tarek. What the coaches asked him to do, just drop numbers into the box. So you look up and you see a lot of blue shirts. You can run square to the field, and that's what Hofstra's just trying to do. Oh, Again, Tarek! Another header served on a potter from Green. And that should do it for the second time. The two special forwards connect. And it's 3-0 Hofstra. Four of the last six seven, CAA six, championship games five, have featured four, the Hofstra Pride three, as one of two, the teams. One. It's a final. 
the Hofstra Pride are into the final. The CNA Championship game is the number one seed. They'll take on the two seed James Madison University in a game here at Hofstra Soccer Stadium. I just always know where Selma is. We have a great dynamic between the two of us, and she's just an incredible player. It's really a privilege to be with to play with her on the field. I just look for her, and she finishes the ball like she did twice today. We want to win. We don't want to go home with anything else but a ring right now. Like we're home, we're in front of all of our friends. Like I just said, we want to win it. And it was a tough game last time we played JMU. So hopefully we can get this done. The ball came in really, really far post, and I was just running, and I just threw myself to the ball, and I'm happy it went in. And the same thing with the second one. I just tried to, you know, place it in the top corner, and thank God it went in. <laughs> Enough said we're in the CAA finals, that's enough motivation as it is. And it's going to be a battle, but it's one that you know we're ready to face and hopefully we come away with the win. Today, picked on uh, Butts and Yuvino, Salma and Green showed up. Last, year, last game it was, let's pick on Salma and Yuvino, Brittany Butts showed up. So, uh, you know, you pick your poison and hopefully uh, somebody else will step up and find a way and that's what happened tonight. Whoever, you know, he tells us every game, you know, I need someone to step up. I don't care who it is, whether it's a goalie, defender, midfield forward. We just need someone to step up. And today we had a few people step up. Our goalies were phenomenal, both Emily and KT, making great saves that, you know, could have held us back in the game. And, you know, everyone just steps up each game with someone different. And that's how versatile our team is. You can't kick us off the field because we can kick back and you can't play us off the field. So... That's what makes it special, and uh, the girls do a fantastic job. You know, we've got a, a mature lineup there, so they, they're used to it, and they'll get they'll they'll just get stronger and stronger as the game goes on.